Alleluia! Christ is risen. The, the Lord, Lord is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia! Let us stand and sing our opening hymn, number 207. <laughs> The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, overcame death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, grant that we who celebrate with joy the day of the Lord's resurrection may be raised from the death of sin by your life-giving Spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. After the Sabbath, on the first day of the week, Mary, Magdalene, and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord, descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing was white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. 
Then go quickly and tell his disciples, he has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly, Jesus met them and said, Greetings. And they came to him, took hold of his feet, and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Let us pray together. Lord, take my mouth and speak through it. Take our ears and hear through them and set our hearts on fire with love for you. Amen. Today is Easter Sunday, but I want to talk about Monday. Easter is typically a special day. Monday, on the contrast, is a most ordinary day. There are not many parties or scheduled events on Monday. Typically, we run errands, go to work or school, do the laundry, sleep in. There are songs about Monday, and none of them are flattering. The Carpenters, rainy days and Mondays always get me down. The Mamas and Papas, Monday, Monday, can't trust that day. The Boomtown Rats, I don't like Mondays, wanna shoot that whole day down. It was the Jewish equivalent of a Monday, the day after the Sabbath when two Marys, Mary Magdalene and another Mary, went to the grave of Jesus. After the traumatic event of Good Friday, they probably did want to shoot the whole day down. Yet it will turn out to be a most extraordinary Monday. The Gospel says they have come to see the tomb. However, Instead, they see something else. The earth shakes, the stone rolls away, the guards fall backwards as if dead. An angel flashing like lightning sits on a rock. He tells them, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Christ who was crucified. He is not here. He has been raised. They were looking for a corpse. The angel directs them to a living body. It may be that we are looking to mourn a corpse today. Many of us are grieving because we think our lives may not be the same after this earth-shattering pandemic we are experiencing. We are in a long Monday morning, expecting an empty tomb Life without bodies lived over the internet, as wonderful an aid as that is, it is not the same. If it were, the angel would have told the, the, the women, Jesus is everywhere, so experience him in your heart, here alone in the tomb. Instead, he tells them, go get the others and gather around his body where he is in a physical location, in Galilee. There you will see him. Throughout history, there have been people who have tried to make Jesus' resurrection a spiritual or virtual resurrection. He rose in the hearts of the disciples, they say. He lived on in his teachings and the inspiration of his life. The Bible makes no such claims. As the author John Updike put in his poem, Seven Stanzas on Easter, make no mistake, if he rose at all, it was as his body, it was as his flesh, ours, the same hinged thumbs and toes, the same valved heart. 
On that Monday morning, the Marys were told, go tell the others to gather around the living body of Jesus. There you will see him. These days, we are worshiping virtually, practicing spiritual communion, meeting in pictures of ourselves and fake forums and fake rooms, and in many ways that's actually been exciting and novel. And God is honoring it, blessing many of us. My friend told me the other day that she went to four services last Sunday. Jesus is everywhere. Yes, he is everywhere. Yet, he is also somewhere, in one particular place. He has a body, a body that can be touched. And isn't that our deepest need? Think of those you love who have died. It is not enough to have their memory in our hearts. We want to hold them, to touch them, to hear their voice on those ordinary days. When we see their picture, it comforts us, but it also makes us long even more to see their true face, to hear their voice speak, to press their flesh against ours. So too, the desire of our heart is to touch God and to touch one another, to press flesh, to hear voice, to see face. This is where the angel directs the women, to Jesus' bodily presence, where they will hear his voice, see his face, and press his flesh. He is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him. That is 100 miles away, a long, dreary trudge for a Monday morning. Yet, as the women go, Jesus meets them right there. Greetings, he says, or to translate, hi there. And right there, on a Monday morning, Easter Sunday begins. Rainy days and Mondays may still get us down, but know this, God has raised Mondays up into something new. The early Christian writers called Easter the eighth day of creation because it recreated every other day. Because of the resurrection, this one particular day where we gather as his body makes every ordinary day new. Because of the resurrection, this one place where we celebrate and proclaim and touch and taste his risen body makes every place new. So, as you long to be gathered again, as you long for body and blood, for touch and face, may Jesus greet you in your ordinary place, on your ordinary Monday. May you press his flesh, hear his voice, see his face. Amen. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our, our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That, that they, they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest, especially Judy. Let life perpetual shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we, we also come to share, share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. We pray for Elizabeth, David, Elijah, Lena, David, Clay, and Chris. Thank you for healing Parker, that you are for protecting us. O oh, most mighty and merciful God, 
in this time of grievous sickness, we flee unto thee for succor. Deliver us, we beseech thee, from our peril. Give strength and skill to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure, and grant that perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leadeth to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God has mercy on you, forgives you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthens you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keeps you in eternal life. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also, also with you. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and prayer. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly we are bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death, he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again, he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, 
our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for you, the people of God. Take them and feed on them in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. And now, while we cannot eat this bread and drink this cup together, we may at this time pray the prayer together of spiritual communion. Let us pray. I believe that you are truly present in the Holy Sacrament, and since I cannot at this time receive communion, I pray you to come into my heart. I unite myself with you and embrace you with all my heart, my soul, and my mind. Let nothing separate me from you. Let me serve you in this life until by your grace I come to your glorious kingdom and unending peace. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, and dwell in my heart in the fullness of your strength. Be my wisdom and guide me in right pathways. Conform my life and actions to the image of your holiness and in the power of your gracious might rule over every hostile power that threatens or disturbs the growth of your kingdom, who with the Father and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, in glory everlasting. Amen.
May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, that your life may overflow with hope by the power of the Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit rest upon you and upon those you love today and forever. Amen. Amen. And now we'll sing our closing song, number 180, He is Risen. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the power of the Spirit. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.